decades, Michigan State Police have been patrolling our state with those iconic single red bubble lights atop their cruisers. They're unique and they've always served a logical purpose, but they're getting an upgrade now. Fox 47's Brett Collar joins us in the studio this morning. And Brett, State Police are adopting some new technology here. Yeah, for years, the bubble or the gumball light, as many refer to it, has been sitting on top of state police vehicles. A little different than the full overhead light bar that other cities and municipalities have been adopting. But MSP say it's for a reason. Now, according to a report by state police, the MSP Precision Driving Unit has found that vehicles with a full overhead light bar accelerate slower than vehicles with a single overhead light. Additionally, the reduced forward facing surface area of the single light provides greater fuel savings when compared to the larger surface area of a full light bar. So the bubble, as many refer to it, not going away, but rather getting a bit of a facelift. State police cruisers will be upgraded over time with new LED lights. Special First Lieutenant David Kaiser says that this update will improve safety for not only the people being stopped, but also for the officers. So once the vehicle is put into park, the flashing lights you see in the front, the wigwags and the headlights that flash from side to side, that bright light that often blinds you if you're being stopped, once the trooper puts that vehicle in park, those lights will quit flashing. So it enables the trooper when he's walking back to his vehicle to not be blinded by those lights as well. Yeah, a bit of a safety upgrade. The new kit uses 12 light heads, 9 LED bulbs per head for a total of 108 lights in each car. These new lights also have the ability to shine light in one direction rather than the traditional rotating bulb, which covers a total 360 degree area. Laura? All right, Brett, thank you. Well, these lights will not be installed all at once. We're told that state police vehicles will be fitted with the new LED light kits when there is a light failure. They're doing this as a cost-saving measure.